It's really an honor to be uh, in your home, Mr. Flores, celebrating, really celebrating your life of service and really celebrating something that's very unique to those of us uh, working in, in the field of the Community Action Agency. In 2018, the home of veteran Jesus Flores was damaged during a storm that brought high winds and rain. One of the big limbs fall on top of my roof and it made a big hole about 18 or 20 inches and it damaged a lot inside uh, the kitchen and uh, wiring and a lot of damage inside. It continued to leak on the roof. I wanted to do the repairs of the roof, you know, but uh, I didn't have the complete resources to, to do the whole roof. After the storm, the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency was awarded a grant from the Texas Department of Housing and Community to help those residents in need of home repairs. We had several community meetings, uh, both here in the Ed Cachelsa area, in the La Villa area, as well as in the Monte Alto area. So Mr. Flores came forward at one of those community meetings and, uh, and expressed basically that he had not received the assistance, uh, uh, any of the benefits from, from uh, the FEMA office for whatever reason. Um, and, and then the rest of it was our staff took the application and then started to process. Uh, process his needs. Identifying those residents in need of assistance was a group effort between several county departments. We, we typically work hand in hand with the CSA and our urban county departments to help identify the families that are in most need or that had some sort of damage during one of the rain events. Uh, we help them identify families so that they can reach out, encourage them to apply and, and see what kind of benefits we can provide for them. You know, we're really indebted to the, uh, gosh, the Office of Emergency Management. Uh, we're also indebted to uh, the fire marshal's office, we had several local fire departments that assisted us with collecting information and applications. They got us maps so we could see where people were located. So really it was a group effort together with our office, uh, Monica and Ojosa from our office uh, worked with the families to, to ensure we had all the applications. Once Mr. Flores' application was processed, the crews got to work. They had a crew, about 10 people. They took all the shingles and everything, you know. And I was outside, you know, looking how fast they were going. And I was afraid because of the rain, you know. But it took only three days for them to do it complete. CSA hopes this is the beginning of even more community action projects in Hidalgo County. FEMA comes through after a disaster, and, and, and a lot of times, many of the, of the lowest income families are the ones that are left behind, that are left out. We wanted to demonstrate to them that a community action agency is well suited to be able to provide this kind of assistance. It's a little more work, a little more difficult, but we wanted uh, to demonstrate to them and to Congress that we have that ability to be able to move those dollars and get these benefits in the hands of families who needed it. To be able to work on a project that would secure a safe shelter, because this is what this is, it's a shelter, it's the roof over families' heads to provide safety, to provide comfort, peace of mind. We did great things, and we're going to continue to advocate for more funding to come along the way. Mr. Flores appreciates the help CSA and the county provided to him and his family. Oh, I felt great, you know. It was uh, something that, like a big relief, you know, that I did. I was so concerned about this weather, you know, that on, 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 all, all the time, on this time. So, uh, I'm very thankful for them to put on that.